problem is that we should be learning about all kinds of different women, not just the go-tos, right? Like the Frida Kahlo's, the Celia Cruz. I love Celia Cruz, I love her music. You know, but we also need to learn about like the, the hidden figures, the, the other women that have made an impact or have changed their communities that are not talked about. Every woman has a different kind of story and a different source of inspiration. And as as women and as little, you know, little girls and women, we all have different passions. So I really wanted to make sure that all kinds of different passions were reflected in the book. So I wanted to keep continuing with the Little Biographies for Bright Minds book series. So I wanna continue different editions, right? Um, so I decided because March is Women's History Month that I really wanted to honor more women. And there's so many incredible women from Latin America that have truly made an impact in their community and also made an impact around the world, but they're not really talked about a lot in mainstream media. So I wanted to honor them. I chose women, for example, Ermelinda Urbina right here from Ecuador. She was the first South American woman to receive a pilot's license. And that was, you know, I believe in the 40s or 50s, which is unprecedented. I mean, back, you know, back in that time, it was so difficult for women to become pilots or to even aspire to, to become pilots. So she was a really good role model in breaking barriers and um, showing other women and other little girls that reach for the stars, no dream is too big. And I also wanted to um, honor other incredible women, both contemporary women and women from the past. For example, I have Frida Kahlo, who is a must. Uh, we all know who Frida Kahlo was. She also broke a lot of barriers for women. Her paintings um, are worth millions and millions of dollars. And she was a feminist and she really advocated for the indigenous communities. Right here in the cover, I also have Vidi Diana Alvarez, who's real young. I mean, she's like, I think she's in her thirties, and she broke the Guinness World Record because she climbed the three highest mountaintops, K2, Mount Everest, and Kanjanjunga in Nepal. And she's the first Latina to conquer the world's second tallest mountain, K2, but the first woman in North America to climb the four tallest mountains in the world. Um, and she's incredible. Her story is, is incredible because she started training later in life. The recent presidential elections actually motivated me to include a female president. Laura Chinchilla is a former president of Costa Rica. And actually in Latin America, there have been a lot of female presidents, like Michelle Bachelet, for example, from Chile. Because um, we, we've never had a female president here in the United States, I wanted to show little girls, uh, no matter what their background is, that they could aspire to one day become president, like Laura Chinchilla was in Costa Rica. Um, so. These are examples of women that, you know, we don't really hear about too much. For example, Araceli um, Quispe. She is not only an, a NASA engineer, she has a black belt in karate. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I also wanted to show little girls that um, you can be multifaceted just because you like karate doesn't mean you can't also be an engineer and vice versa, right? So um, all of these stories hopefully will inspire the reader to, to like, like I said, dream big and have no limits. So for example, Celia Cruz, um, I actually had a chance to meet her when she was still alive. I took a picture with her. She signed her DVD for me and I can send you guys those pictures. And there was a moment in my life and like, I don't want to cry, but there was a moment in my life where I, I was actually a journalist. Um, I was flown out to work in Arizona. It was a very kind of lonely, you know, things were happening in my life, a very dark, dark place in my life. And I remember listening to her song, La Vida es un Carnaval, Life is a Carnival, which basically says, enjoy life, leave your your worries um, aside you know we're only here for a short amount of time so enjoy it life is a carnival and Celia Cruz the impact she had I believe in 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 culture and especially in the Latino community is that she just filled the world with joy 
with joy, with hope, with, with smiles. And it was really special for me to include her in, in the front cover and in my book because she pulled me out, her song, her music, pulled me out of that dark depression that I was in. My mom is featured in my taco book. Like there's a picture of her in there and you know, I, I do a whole story about how special her taco recipe was. And one of my next books, which is already written and is almost done illustrating, uh, is an honor to all the, the moms, all of the immigrant moms, because my mom is an immigrant, uh, she came from Mexico, that are warriors, but they never get accolades, they never get recognition, they never get trophies, awards, anything. But they've been a, a strong example of, you know, of being a warrior in life. So yes, that book is dedicated to people like my mom, immigrant moms, like I said, that are hard workers that just want a better life for their children and they never get that recognition. Um, it's, it's hard because you're a mom, so you have to be a mom. You have to be the disciplinarian. You have to be the, the person that tells them, no, you can't eat candy. No, you can't stay out until the wee hours of the night. You have to be that person to tell them no, no, no all the time. So a lot of times they're not that happy with you, right? But on the other end, I feel very proud of being an example of being an entrepreneur and business person. And I always try to include them in the process of my entrepreneurial journey. I always ask them for advice about titles and illustrations and books, um, because I feel like I am showing them the power of being an entrepreneur, of creating something from scratch. You know, hopefully it'll kind of plant a seed of for them in the future, if that's something that they want to pursue with entrepreneurship. So I, I really, um, I think I, I, I just, being a, a good mom, part of being a good mom I, is just being an example for them and showing them hard work, persistence, being brave and all of those things. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's what I'm doing for them, that I'm just kind of being an example of that. I'm going to hopefully create a long library of different women that I want to include. Um, I want to do a book about Afro Latinas. There's there's a big, um, you know, movement to honor Afro Latinas because in our community, a lot of Afro Latinas are not highlighted and they're not showcased. And that's why it was important for me to include one in, in the cover, actually two, Celia Cruz. And right here we have Katerin Ibargin from Colombia. She's a two-time Olympic gold medalist. And she's also inspired a lot of little girls to pursue sports. So yes, it's always a challenge to, to narrow it down to 11, but because there were women that I, that I left out, that I, you know, I can't include all of the women, then like I said, that inspired me to keep creating more and more books with different themes. And, um, you know, so we can keep learning about all of these wonderful, wonderful leaders.